Hello students of standard 10. Today I am continuing the chapter Factors Leading to the Growth of Nationalism and the Foundation of the Indian National Congress. First of all, I would like to discuss the role of press and Indian literature. You know, press has a very important function in society. Its function is to dissimulate information. It also is a device to make the public aware of what is going on in society. And at that time, during the British rule, many people contributed to the press and literary movements. First of all, I would like to mention Rajaram Mohan Roy, who was the founder of the nationalist journalist journals in India. His Samwad Kaumadi bore the signs of nationalism. Dada Bhai Nevroji edited the Rast Goftar in Gujarati and Ishwar Chandra Vidya Sagar started the Shom Prakash. During the second half of the century, many English dailies came into existence. Prominent among them were, were the Times of India, the Pioneer and the Statesman. Many of these papers, sad to say, supported the policies of the government, yet they kept informing the people about rapid political developments in the country. The Amrit Bazar Patrika was started as the Anglo-Bengali Weekly. The Hindu was started in Madras. Tilak in the Kesari and the Maratha campaigned the gospel of freedom and natural rights. Nationalist Literature Bartendu Harishchandra's play Bharat Durdasa, India's Misery, spoke of national sentiments. Bakim Chandra, Chandra's novel Anand Mutt has been described as the Bible of Patriotism. The national song Vande Matram has been taken from it. Economic Exploitation the peasant's sufferings. The Samindari system led to the exploitation of the peasants. They had to sell their produce at a cheap cost. Then there occurred a peasant's revolt. Cash crops like indigo, opium, jute and tea became serious rivals of food crops. A series of famines occurred in the 19th century. Stagnation of handicrafts. Heavy duties were levied, levied on goods imported into England from India. Furthermore, British goods were forced upon Indians. This satisfied educated youth. The educated youth were denied jobs. Surendranath Banerjee was dismissed from the ICS service on flimsy grounds. Government in ignored people's welfare. The onus of taxes fell on Indians. Taxes were levied to sustain the huge expenditure needed for the army. The common masses lived in dire power poverty. Repressive policies. Age limit for the civil service examinations. The age limit for the civil services was reduced from 21 to 19. This was a calculated move to forbid the Indian candidates from attending the civil service. The Imperial Darbar. Darbar is a big festival of gathering of many people. It's, it's a wild, it's a kind of big party hosted by the British. The Imperial Darbar conducted in Delhi was an insult to the Indians because at that time the whole of India was suffering from famines. Press regulations. The Vernacular Press Act suppressed the freedom of vernacular newspapers. The act required that nothing against the government could be published in those newspapers. The Indian Arms Act. 
the Indian Arms Act made it mandatory for Indians that it would be a criminal offense for them to have arms without a license. Ilbert Bill controversy. At that time, no European could be tried by an Indian magistrate. Ilbert introduced a bill. According to this act, Indian magistrates could try Europeans. This was a move favoring the Indians. However, the down thing of the bill was the accused were to have a benefit of trial by a jury and a half and by a jury and half of it were Europeans. <laughs>